When you think he's not around He'll make you shout out loud Go away, unicorn, you're always doing something wrong Alice had the whole day Go away, unicorn! Go away, unicorn, you have it with the magic horn But it only makes them better friends It's unicorn! Stop, go, yes, go, get the zoological Everything will be just fine I am a unicorn And if you go away, unicorn, wake me at the break of dawn Magical friend of best friend, Gordon, told me the most hilarious accounting joke I have ever heard! <laughs> you don't have another best friend named Gordon, and you definitely don't like accounting jokes. You're right. I love them! <laughs> really? Me too! Your ledgers are strange! A real oddity! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. You know, because accountants do audits and... That's okay. I'll get my other best friend to explain it to me. Gordon! Wait! I've got more! Now, where did Gordon go? He was just here. Gordon? Oh, Gordon! Gordon! He couldn't have just vanished. Unless he was never here in the first place. Unicorn! more about this Gordon. Oh, you're going to love him. He's an accountant with big red hands who rides a rainbow. Why are you doing air quotes so much? Because you did it first and it looked like fun. Gordon loves fun. It must be nice to have an imaginary friend. He's not imaginary. He's an accountant. Totally different job. It's not a job, Unicorn. Imaginary friends can do things real people can't. They appear whenever you want, and they tend to get into trouble. When kids make messes, it's always the imaginary friend's fault. But imaginary friends only exist in your mind. No one else can see them. It sounds like if Gordon isn't real, then I'm not real either. Mm hmm But I've got a best friend with a horn on top. <laughs> You're real, all right. <laughs> to think, mm. you almost had me wondering if you were real. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Mom, you see what Unicorn just did? Mm, whatever you say, honey. But I don't have an extra finger to push one for English. Dad, did you see? The only thing I want to see is my hard hat. I've got to get back to the site. I'm going to be... Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you see Unicorn Hugo? But, uh... How come? He's right here. <gasps> he was here because he's real, right? <laughs> Phew, of course he's real. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I should prove it, just in case. Okay, Unicorn, fun plan for today. We're just gonna do a few tests to prove that you're really real. No prob. I know how to prove 1,000% that I'm real. How? Like this. <laughs> okay, this might be more difficult than I thought. Luckily, I have two real, real friends we can turn to for help. Great. Is one of them Gordon? Oh. This is kind of a weird question, but I have to ask, is Unicorn real? Is anything real? Maybe what we call reality is just a computer simulation created by robots. Even this? Especially that. A cake that's just a smaller, staler version of a full-sized cake? How does that make sense in any reality? Mm. Don't be silly. Of course Unicorn's real. He's right here. But if I'm right here, then who is that? And how'd he get so handsome? That's just your reflection. But if Pixie can see you, then you're definitely real. Thanks, Pix. 
You're welcome. Let's celebrate with the tea party. I've invited all my imaginary friends, too. See? Meet Madame Buttertoots, Duke Fluey Pizzow, Teddy Crabsman, Walfredo Mustersain, Silly Willy, and Rhubarbara Ann. She's the one sitting next to Unicorn. Imaginary tea. See? Nothing's real. This imaginary party is so nice. Let's celebrate with a group shot. Now, Madam Buttertoots, you were explaining how to play bridge. Looks like I'm just gonna have to use that thing that always gives me the real answers to everything. Top secret government files? Top secret government kittens? No, I'll use the power of science! That's great! But you're stepping on Walfredo. According to science, all real things have mass. So we just have to find out how heavy you are, Unicorn. Unicorn. Heavy as a rock, light as a feather. Heavy as a rock, light as a feather. Whee! <laughs> According to science, non-imaginary friends breathe oxygen. So your breath should move this dial. <gasps> wow! According to science, imaginary friends can't make unique finger or hoof prints. <laughs> Hi, Alice. There must be something that proves Unicorn is real. I need objective proof. <gasps> like all the pictures we've taken together. What happened to all my pictures? Ah, here he is. At the ceremony when I won the Junior Beekeeper of the Year Award. Except he wasn't at that ceremony. I wasn't? Then I better get out of this picture. Whoa! I've tried everything I can think of to prove you're not imaginary, but nothing's worked. Have I been imagining you this whole time? But I got a best friend with a horn on top. You always got my back, so you know I can't stop. <laughs> Does a magical unicorn really live with me? Or did I make him up? It's Occam's razor. The simplest explanation tends to be the truth. Are you sure it isn't Occam's loofah? Oh, wait. That's your loofah. It's probably still good. Anyway, wanna go play? I wish I could. The logic says you're not real. And I can't logically play with things that don't exist. I'm not going to let my best friend not believe in me. You hear that, reality? It is on. Ah, ah! Whoa! Uh, tweet, tweet. Totally a real bird. Well, looks like there's no bird to draw anymore. Cha-cha-cha, totally real, cha-cha-cha, not a simulation, cha-cha-cha. I'm having trouble focusing for some unexplained reason. Hmm. You can't run from me, cha-cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. Why won't you go away, unicorn? You don't exist! Cha-cha-cha? Alice, you're the smartest and bestest friend I ever had. And if you say I don't exist, it must be true. Here, I made this for you. It's to remind you of all the amazing times that we never actually had. What are you doing? Trying to not exist. Mm. <laughs> what a lovely, quiet dinner. Wait a minute. Where's Unicorn? I'd rather not talk about it. What's up, Sweet Pea? Are you and Unicorn mad at each other? That would be impossible. <laughs> You're right, Hugo. They can't stay mad at each other for long. They're best friends. Might as well open my imaginary gift. Huh? The missing pictures from my room! I miss my best friend, and I don't care if he's pretend, imaginary, or the simulation of robots harvesting our collective consciousness for power. He'll always be real to me. Oh. Okay. Don't exist. Don't exist. Don't exist. Unicorn! 
Shh, I'm trying to not exist like Madame Buttertoots. I don't care if you don't exist. Wait, did you say Madame Buttertoots? <gasps> Eureka! Imaginary friends can't be photographed, but you can. Occam's razor, you exist. I do? Really? Wahoo! <laughs> Oh, Alice, I'm so glad I exist, because existing with you is the best! Oh... What's wrong, Unicorn? I just wish Gordon was here to celebrate with us. Um, Unicorn... <laughs> Did someone say my name? There you are! Huh? Gordon, meet Alice. Alice, Gordon! Red hands and rides a rainbow! I get it now! Nice to meet you, Gordon! I was starting to think you weren't real. <laughs> oh. Oh, none of us are real. This life is all just the intricate dream of a sleeping yellow-bellied sapsucker. And one day, well, that bird will wake up. Ah! Well, everything's real enough for me. Got a new one for you, Unicorn. Why are accountants great gymnasts? Because if they can balance books, they can balance beams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it.